Hello friends, good evening. Let's start. In this video, what we will do is we will configure the Windows 2019 file server and then uh, <coughs> we will continue with the file share configurations inside the Windows 2019 and, and then we will proceed with the migrations and stuff where we left with in the last session. Let me open up this. Okay, there we go. So, last session we have completed this part. 2018 file server has been configured successfully. So in this video, what we'll do is we'll do this part. Okay. Before that, let me tweak something. I'll go to the machines. HGB RAM, that which I really don't require. So let me go to edit settings. If I if I power on all the machines, then I'll run out of memory and everything. Better. Let me okay. Horizon S. Let's make it as four. Let me power on DC. Yeah, that will take some time, right? Also, legacy file server, how much space? Four GB, fine. It's okay. And my file server was new. Once again, four GB. Let me power on this. Legacy, if I want, I can power on. Okay. So I'll, I'll leave the SMS server power down. So I, I still need to do a couple of configuration steps inside the file server. So that I'll do later on. So let me go to the new file server and wait for some time. We'll get the IP and login. So yeah, here we go. Whatever this, I haven't got anything yet. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> Server is powered on. Not sure if I have assigned the IP or not. Let me go inside and check. I don't think I have to send the IP of uh, this machine. Yeah, no IP, I believe. Right, so let me do that first. So, what's IP? That's what I've given. This is two, three, four. Maybe I'd have to give it five for this. For this, right? So, I'll give five for this machine. Okay, use static. Let me go to full screen. 192, 168, 40.5. 192, 168, it is 40.1. 192, 168, 40.2 is my domain control server. That's okay, done. Close, cool. This is done. Connected. Now, oh, what I need to do? Let me stop the firewall service, which I really don't require in my lab. Let me run. Okay, cool. This is done. What else I need to do? Go to file server. Local server. Enhance by using things, let me power off, which I don't really require as of now. And also, remote desktop, Just allow the remote desktop. Else, sorry, remote desktop is allowed. Computer name, what's the computer name? File server. Okay, domain is com. Okay, as a username to join the domain. Yeah, it's done. Server has been joined to the domain.
something. Okay, this is done. So what's the legacy file server? Let me log into the legacy file server first. 192.168.40.4 Excuse me. Okay. And what's the 10 GB? I have three different shares. I'll also need the 10 GB of Brian or maybe in case I want to test 10 GB of data or at least I'll, I'll try to put some 1 or 2 GB of data where I can test. So, all the server number CMU 192 168.40.5. dot com slash administrator okay here we go the new file server we bring up the new file server now and what is the next step <coughs> I'll send 10 GB disk on okay it's taking time yeah here you go 10 gb thin provisioning it's done let's get close So let me go to new server and disk management. Slice. Create some volume. This is done. And then close this out. Write this. As you can see, new properties. To whom I need to add, story B, add, add, sysadmins, full control on this drive, okay, and then what I need to do, I need to create the same structure of shares what we have in the old file server, or else I need to <clears throat> yeah let me create the structure and then I'll make sure the files will be copied over without any issue or else I can I can get the whole drive okay let's leave that I have e drive here and then what else I have here e drive and e drive cool I have two file servers and what what I what else I need to do let me create one additional user on the domain controller login in okay so cast six segments who are the six segments yeah this is as let me create user Okay. Thanks. Let's create one more user. Right. The purpose is this user will have only read-only permission on legacy file server let me go back and go to the file server and then let me computer man shares permissions 
add. Okay, you can have only read only partition. Hyperval read only, and also the domain user he also has the read only permission and this particular share. one I'm going to add that what does I need to do let me check do I have users added here or not this admins full control edit add right here just read on on whole drive anywhere so that's it so, so the same permissions I could see if I copy over onto the uh, new file server okay cool I'll stop here what I'll lose in the next video I'll, I'll install the Windows admin center on the SMS also SMS server and also I'll configure the server migration service in the next video right so let me mark this as completed. Okay. And then I'm left with the rest of the steps that we'll do in the next coming videos. All right? Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Okay, let me stop this video.